Hey gang, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. So as you can see by the title there, ooh, mosquitoes. <laughs> the biggest hazard evidently is mosquitoes. All right, so I am here, I am in my front yard. You've seen every other part of my house just about. Welcome. Thank Whoops, you for me let me turn down this so monitor. We don't need to hear myself three times. <laughs> Hello, my name's Dan today. How to spatter a painting. This will be a real short broadcast. I hope really short. There's the painting that I want to spatter and uh, because it's a winter scene. Okay. Why else would you do spattering? Well, partly maybe just for purely uh, aesthetic reasons, abstract reasons, maybe water spray, waterfall, but snow certainly one of the main main reasons for doing spattering all right let me I don't I don't have all of my tripods here so forgive me I'm running a little bit a little bit low on equipment as you can see I just dropped you on the ground completely all right so the the products I'm going to be using here are this is just an old palette with all dry paint on it don't be confused by this dry stuff I've got a little pile of real titanium white and a pile of liquid <coughs> a fast dry medium made by Windsor Newton and I have over here on the ground my my wash bucket of Gamsol okay because I think well I've done this before so I have a pretty good idea the I want the consistency roughly of milk and so that's why I dipped my brush you don't usually use Gamsol as a medium but a little bit of it is okay and and it would be too thick all right so first thing I first thing I'm going to do just come over here and spatter it on the ground in the weeds try to not hit the good plants just just want to see what this this is going to look like oops glad I did that it's a little bit too much that might be all right no a little bit thick still getting quite a bit all right close enough now hang on let me zoom in here for you to the painting there we go here we go spatter by the way the the paper around it this is an unusual framing if you're from if you saw my work a couple weeks ago you, you saw me working on this that's why there's paper it's covering up it's protecting the frame all right here we go three two one zero I've spattered twice now by the way three times oh <laughs> all right there all right oh I for, for, forgot to mention some very important uh, other tools that I have here ready to go. One is a rug so that I don't have to kneel in the wet um, wet grass here. All right, the other tool I have already ready to go is a a rag that already has Gamsol on it. I'm wiping off all the splatters I just did. Okay. This is very, very typical standard operating procedure. I don't know that I ever remember getting a perfect spatter first try. All right, let's try it again. Oh, let me widen out here so that you can actually see me, my action to the whole thing here. All right, ready? You know, I'm acting like it's scary <laughs> when it's really not. It's because you can see I can wipe it off, but it still feels scary. Hmm, that's not bad. Hmm. 
and and forgive me i know that you guys you you can't see really you can hardly see what i'm doing here the spatters are too small i think i want it i think i want it more feathery i feel like my my um my dots are a little bit too big which would mean yeah they are which would mean that my mixture is a little too thin and darn it I didn't bring enough um, titanium white out here because I need to thicken up this mixture so forgive me just for a minute I'm running back in the house grabbing a tube of titanium white I should have done this the first time because I knew this could happen all right so back to my palette Put out some plus I'm not sure that the mixture I got it a little too thin and uh, it's a little bit it's not quite white enough so that's funny although I don't really think that matters by the time it hits the the painting it looks white all right a little bit thicker now who knows I'm not sure my intuition is right let's let's go over here to the bushes again and do some practice, some practice spatters again in the dirt and the weeds. Ooh, all oh, those are even. So I had too much in my brush. All right, that that might be work better now. That might be more better, as the kids say. Pointing once again back at the painting. Now, I know you can't necessarily see my arm. Let's see, you can see part of it. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's better. So the brush is a lot drier now than it was a minute ago. <laughs> and I do, I like the feel of that spatter, but it's in the wrong place. Just barely damp with Gamsol. Got the picture about damaging my painting. In fact, in fact, speaking of damaging the painting, um, I, I accidentally went ahead and varnished this painting and then you know a day two later went oh my goodness I forgot to do this spatter so a little while ago I just wiped all the all the varnish off it that would damage and it didn't damage the painting I'm just saying that's a lot more rough than what I'm doing right now all right let's give it a try you can see my action now The brush, the paint on the brush, and I'm trying to get a little some spatter here and here. Ah. Okay, now hang on, hang on. All right, one of the principles, by the way, that very much, very much comes becomes real when it comes to spattering. There's a principle. <laughs> you knew there would be, didn't you? The principle is, if something's a lot of fun to do, be careful not to do too much of it. Spattering is probably the, the, the number one thing that, that fits that description. Be careful not to do too much. So, and what you see me doing right now, then, is surgically removing just some of the spatters. It, it's hard to do because if you just hit sideswipe one of the dots, you'll streak, right? So I think, oh yeah, that, those were spatters. Okay, let me take just a minute here to, um, I don't know if you can see, if you can even see these spatters. So the, the key principle when it comes to spattering your painting must be dry, okay? And and you have to have still just removing a place, a few bits where there's a little bit too much, too much of a good thing, shall we say. So the painting has to be dry because the likelihood that you will nail it the very first time is virtually nil. So don't try to do this until the painting is dry, and then you can do what you see me doing here. 
wipe it off as many times as you need to. And again, when it comes to spattering, remember, a little bit is good. Very easy to do too much. And I, I think, now hang on, just a little bit again, a couple specks on these children. I really don't want much on them. I've got one, two, three, four on the boy, all on below the waist, one on the girl, maybe two or three, to some of them. Now, some of you might ask, well, why don't you just get out a tiny brush? <laughs> I hope you know the answer. Like, no, that would be nuts. Um, you wouldn't achieve the feel, the, the spontaneity, the randomness of a spatter. Plus, many of these drops, I'm, I'm quite happy, drips, whatever, spots, are just pinpricks, are just infinitesimal. And it would be virtually impossible to achieve that. Your, your, your snowflakes, in this case, they would be contrived, I believe, if you tried to do it by hand. Okay, I'm just going to pick you up here for a minute and show this to you, just so you can see up close before we go. Oh, hang on, sorry, I'm jerking you all over the place. Sorry about that. All right, you see there? Not too much, virtually none. One on his foot, two just above his waist, one on his leg, and a little bit over here. And I think that's good. Yahoo! So it doesn't take very long, but it does take some forethought and some preparation. That's all there is to it. How to spatter a painting. Painting's got to be dry. You mix up your slurry, that'd really be the best word for it, your slurry, to get it just the right thickness. Practice and then spatter as many times. So this is essentially my my third go. And, and then after the third one, as you saw, I surgically removed several snowflakes. So I, the, mainly up here in front of this tree and a little tiny bit here and a little bit here. That's it. Wasn't it fun? <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Dan. That was lots of fun. And welcome to my neighborhood. It's about, let me see, oh, it's 8 o'clock. My goodness. And it's still hot and sweaty out here. I like how we talk about that, as if the, the weather is sweaty. No, the weather, weather induces sweatiness in us. All right, is anybody chatting here? Let me look and see if I've missed anybody. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> good morning, artist. <laughs> Payette Art. And Hamichi 